The Democratic Republic of Congo celebrates 58 years since gaining independence from Belgian rule. But this year, there won't be the usual Independence Day celebrations due to concerns for the safety of President Joseph Kabila. Kabila refused to step down when his term in office expired in December 2016, sparking fears of civil war. Joining me in studio is human rights activist Jean Boissa and Father Patience, uh, both originally from the DRC. Thank you so much for coming through and having this conversation with me. So 58 years. Uh, let me start with you, Father Patience. 58 years since uh, the Congo gained independence. Is it an occasion that is worthy of being celebrated? Let me first of all thank you, Tula, uh, for having us and greet our viewers, wherever they are in, at home. It's actually a privilege and an honor for us to be invited to come and uh, talk about a, a quite sensitive and also sometimes emotional topic uh, like independence. Sure. Actually, it, it is, uh, we should be proud of being independent, I'll put it that way, but uh, this independence is not yet achieved, completely achieved. As you know, uh, I prefer to say that there is a difference between uh, independence, uh, liberation, and emancipation. Most of the time we put everything together. But an independent people is not necessarily liberated people and also not yet emancipated people. Mm. So for me, the highest expression of liberation or freedom is emancipation. So do you believe that the Congolese people are independent from colonial rule, Belgian rule, but are not emancipated? Not yet, because a free people must also be able to choose, for instance, its own leader. And that is a fundamental right. If you are not able to choose your own leader, how can you say that you are independent and you are free? Jean Boissa, do you share these sentiments? I would. I really share the same feeling uh, regarding the independence, so-called independence in our country. And it is sad when people are talking about independence while we are not free. We are not free as African per se to, uh, for instance, determine the price of the wealth that we have. Uh, you cannot tell me today to, uh, to learn that uh, uh, we as uh, South Africa or Congo or Benin can say that the price of gold is this per kilogram because... And that's important in the Congo because, I mean, it's mineral rich, uh, the country is mineral rich, and over the decades we have seen uh, various conflicts that have been taking place partly fanned by those uh, access to those mineral resources. You're quite right, and this mineral rich, and again, we'll go back to what you call independence because you're saying independence, but how many independences Congo has ever had? we would assume that Congo has had two or three independences along the story. The first one was in 1908, when we got, between inverted comma, uh, our freedom from the monarch, who is uh, King Leopold II, who acquired Congo as his own property, not as uh, Congo did not belong to the whole of to Belgium. Belgium. Yes. It belonged, first of all, to King Leopold II. Then until was 19, 1960. Yeah, until 1908. In 1908, due to the fact that the Americans, because we need also to tackle the issue of Americans, were involved in the atrocities that were happening in the Congo. 15 million people were killed in the Congo. Still not a genocide today, and we're talking about independence. That's when that abhor that uh, galvanized all the right. media to talk. Then it brought us in 1959, when we had a revolution of the Congolese people seeking for independence. Lumumba went to um, Accra and Ibadan just to speak about independence. And they didn't want him to go there because they were fearing that he would bring those ideas of independence that were circulating around so, Africa. So much has happened and we are, we, we are almost running out of time. Let, let, let's fast forward to talk about the elections. Uh, you talked um, about the issue of uh, being able to choose your own leader. Uh, Joseph Kabila was meant to have finished his term of office, his second term of office. He's still in office. We now expect elections in December 2018. Are you optimistic that this could be the turning point? Unfortunately, no. Uh, I'm afraid that a thing might not be the way we are intending them to be because we have uh, the so-called um, electoral commission, which is working actually to organize the elections. 
but they've brought this thing of, I think you heard about it, a, a so-called uh, election machine. Or, so they want everything to be done electronically. And the, uh, the majority of the people, uh, opposition included, is not willing to go for that, to, to take that mm. route. But unfortunately, we see that uh, actually, in actual fact, right. things are going that, t taking that route. And right. with the liberation of, with, uh, of uh, um, uh, one of the, the most prom uh, prominent leader, you know, uh, um, Mr. Jean, um, Jean Pierre, Jean -Pierre Bemba. Bemba. Uh, things are becoming quite more complicated because he was out of the country and, and now people he's back. now he is coming right. back